Hi and welcome back to a brand new fantastic tutorial and this is the first one in Logic 10.5. This is looking pretty good this new update. So what I wanted to show you first of all was let's just go down and to this track here is where to find the legacy uh, plugins again. So as you can notice there's no legacy plugins here. You can't find the uh, the old reverb, the uh, platinum verb and various other plugins. So if you hit the out button and then go back to the effects and just scroll down, you'll see legacy appear again. And there you have it. So you have the platinum verb and uh, some other useful plugins that we used to love, like uh, the uh, EQ, um, DJ EQ here, Fat EQ. These are EQs that we had before that are no longer in the new versions. And then also, if you press on out as well, and uh, we go to the instruments, you've got legacy instruments as well, where you have some of these old basic instruments you have here, like the electric clavinet and uh, stuff like that. So um, that's a useful tip if you didn't know that. I did a tutorial on that before on the Logic 10.4. So um, yeah, that could, could serve you in one point. So this is my disco loop here. Which I made in another tutorial and um, so what I'm going to do here is show you how the uh, remix effect works which is really really cool so as you can see here I've got this lock button activated which turns pink and this means that uh, when I'm using say the filter here so let's just have a look at it first look so you got here you've got like several different effects that you can assign to this pad here like a repeater or filter stuff like that then you've got this effect here which is cut this is a stutter effect and this is a bit crusher effect here and this is a repeater or another filter or another effect that you can insert in this pad here this side here we've got the filter so let's just um, um we'll put the repeater here for now so if you listen when i play this back if i just this is not locked so it, as soon as i take my finger off that that just goes back to normal so if i, if I lock that listen So this side you've got the resonance and here the cutoff. So if you sort of have resonance really high here, you can get that bassy kind of sound as well. And then, and then and you can move that. And here, bit crusher. Then obviously here. And of course you can lock this as well and have it. And then if you click on this little icon here, you can see that you can change the actual um, grid of certain functions here. So the filter here, you've got fat and classic, like in the other filter that's in Logic. And if you add the fat on, it gives it a bit of a fatter sound. Then you've got this, which is a... So obviously you can change that here. And here again. And... Or have it faster. So that's really so slow that time, this fast fast here. So if I assign what I want here. And this side you can decide how slow it slows down. So here it would be a whole measure, a half a measure, and then a trio, uh, half a, a trio A. So also here you have the repeater um, time here as well. So you can change the the actual length of that there. So uh, yeah, so you've got other functions as well here, like a uh, wobble. And you can lock that. They're gonna add reverb to it, orbit. So these are really, you know, similar to what you find on the DJ controllers and stuff. Um, 
yeah, this is this is really nice. And of course, if you want to automate it, just go to latch or write or however you like to use your um or automation. So. There you go. And then that should play back if we open up this again. So as you can see, yeah, you can automate it the way you want. Uh, yeah, so that's a quick look at the uh, filter. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe. Don't forget to leave some comments. And I will see you soon. Ciao. Thank you.